Eddie, what do you think about what's going on with uh, what, uh, you know, General Milley said, I, I don't know, it was a month ago or something, he got up and he explained CRT and the direction military is going. I had uh, uh, the former Space Force commander on and he was fired from his position because of the certain things he wrote in his book, you know, with uh, when I was in 97, I, I didn't, you know, you and I are one year apart. I think you were 79, baby. I'm a 78, baby. I think you're, uh, are you May 29th? When are you, May, uh, uh, May 29th? Nine. May 29th. Yeah, my uh, my daughter is May 27th. So May 29th. So Gemini, by the way, we're part of a very interesting camp. Tupac, Biggie, JFK, Marilyn yeah. Monroe, you know, uh, Elvis Presley, Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie. Like you got a very interesting camp you're part of, you know. Uh, you know nice. Say that again. You know, you're Gemini's. Yeah, I, know, I have to. I mean, Gemini's are very interesting, very creative how, how they are. But um you know, what do you think about what direction military is going right now? What General Milley's been talking about? Dude, I on, honestly, uh, I saw what General Milley said, and I, you know, he doesn't believe what he's saying. You know, these these leaders, and this is, I think, people have to understand this. You know, these officers, once they hit a certain rank in the military, uh, and I don't quote me on this, but I believe it's like 04, 05, they have to get uh, Congress to sign off on their promotion, right? So what, what happens then? They, it becomes political. So these, these con con congressmen or women are like, okay, well, if you, you know, bow, bow the knee and like push our agenda, we'll sign off on you getting promoted. And so when they reach these high levels where Millie's at, you know, he's still doing the same thing. He's conforming to whatever the uh, current administration wants. And he, it's not about the, what's best for the military. It's about what's best for General Milley. Um, and that's that's the problem I'm seeing right now in the military is that you have these officers who are being negligent in their duties, which is to take care of the military, take care of the enlisted below them. But instead, they're trying to they're taking care of themselves first. Wow. So after a certain level, 0405, they need Congress's signature. So if you don't say the right thing, you're not going to get the promotion anyways. And that's and that's why we call officers at that level politicians in uniform. Wow. So let me, let me ask you, who did you guys respect? Like amongst the Navy SEALs, who at that general, is there anybody that you would say that was a bad mo? you know, that was a bad move for anybody that you guys looked at at that level that the folks like you respected a lot? Yeah. Uh, you know, Admiral McGuire, he was, I mean, that guy was amazing. He was just recently on uh, Jocko's podcast, just a very level-headed, uh, take care of the boys type of mentality, no matter what rank he had, he, you know, he was always making sure the guys were taken care of, uh, their needs were taken care of, which is what a leader is supposed to do. Um, you know, and then you, you have, uh, you know, I, I know, you know, I didn't work with Jocko, but, uh, I had, you know, friends that did and Jocko put us through training. I respected him as an officer when I was going through, you know, and I'll tell you what, the best officers that I've ever worked for are, are Mustangs. They're prior enlisted and then they decide to become an officer. Um, that way they know both parts uh, and they're the most level-headed ones. Um, you know, and there's, there's definitely a lot of good, good officers out there. Unfortunately in the military, it's, you know, if one officer above you tells you to conform and obey, well, in the military, we're told to follow orders and that's exactly what's going to happen. And that's just going to trickle down to everybody else. That's a scary sight, buddy. It is. So if you like this little short clip from an interview I did, click over here to watch the entire interview and Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.